For me, working in brain injury, I, I think, is a real passion. It's something that I've, I, like I say, I've done it for a long time. And, and when I first walked into the first service I ever uh, worked in with acquired brain injury, I think I knew then that that was it and that I wouldn't ever, ever do anything else. And people often will ask, you know, why do we do what we do? And I think, you know, we all recognise it's extremely challenging. It's a very, very challenging role. And we are working with people that woke up one morning and they had hopes and dreams like the rest of us and they had an idea of what their future was going to look like and then something happened on that day that actually prevented their life from going along that path. And for me, you know, none of us would like to, you know, none of us want to be in a situation where we have to be supporting people that have a brain injury, but unfortunately it doesn't discriminate and it does exist. And for me, when people ask me what I do for a living, I say I'm a professional problem solver. I am here to enable people to have a future. That's what I want to do, that's my goal. And the thing is, it's not the future that that person woke up to that morning and thought that they were gonna have, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a future for them. And for us, it's about finding what that looks like. What is that going to look like? It may not be the same, you may not go back to the same job, but it doesn't mean that you can't have a meaningful and full life following a head injury. So I'd really like to thank you all very much for attending today. I hope you all have a, a fabulous time with us and we are going to be welcoming you.